everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're doing budget bourbons. High proof. So, before we dive into this, if you follow this channel, you might be surprised that one bottle's missing. You go, wait a second, where's that Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof? Well, I love it so much, and I currently only have a store pick that I thought it would be unfair to include it. So, and I realize that some people have problems finding those, so I had to exclude it tonight in the sake of fairness. So tonight, what I'm hoping for is that you can find any of these three bottles in your store, or at least two of the three, hopefully, um, in your store at any, at any given time. So, which is the best one? Let's take a look at the bottles. First up, Old Forester 1920. Just an old standby for a lot of folks. Um, you can usually find these um, in most stores. These come in at $55 here in PA. Um, you know, it might vary by five bucks or so uh, in your area. But at 115 proof, she's, she's a high proof gal. And a commonly available bourbon. Up next, Knob Creek 9 Reserve, 120 proof. Uh, this one happens to be a store pick, but uh, I know it's a little unfair that it's a store pick, but um, usually most stores have one pick of this floating around or they'll have the off-the-shelf version. Um, and this one's not like a particularly old one in any way. It's about, you know, it's right over nine years old, so pretty standard to what the shelf would be. Um, so this one's standing in for all the shelf. Knob Creek 9, 120 picks. Obviously comes in at 120 proof. We just set it. And the delicious Beam Suntory. And price on this bad boy, uh, 50 to 60 depending on, on where you are. Sometimes as low as like $47, $48. I've seen it down that range as well. So it can vary from, you know, almost the cheapest on this list to almost the more expensive. Just depends on where you are and how much... Uh, stores are charging in your area. Last, but certainly not least, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Bourbon. Coming in at 116.8 proof. She's up there, right? Um, arguably the cheapest bottle on this list, <clears throat> depending on how much your area charges for it. Um, in PA, this is like $45.99, so um, pretty readily findable for that price. There was a recent shortage of the glass bottles, but it seems like they've straightened that out and they're back out on the shelf now. And uh, this is a blend of 12 year, six and eight year um, in this bad boy. So we don't know the ratios of that, but depending on, on what that is, could average out to be about nine years old. All right, so the wife poured these blind here. We got the gold, the blue, and the green. So we'll probably be able to guess these because obviously one's going to smell like wild turkey, one's going to smell like Knob Creek, and one's going to be that old forester profile. So I say that now, I'm not getting them wrong. I think I'll be able to guess these, um, but kind of just feel whatever one hits my palate just right tonight will be the winner. First up in the gold, Glen Karen. Ooh. I mean, all these are going to smell great. I'm getting a lot of oak. Caramel, just good traditional bourbon flavors. Oh, some sweetness coming through. Mmm. Shall we take a sip? Oh, that's delicious. That's Knob Creek. <laughs> I thought maybe on the nose it was Knob Creek, but the palate, all that caramel and brown sugar and oak. Just the traditional Knob Creek profile of straight deliciousness. Finish goes on, you know, at 120 proof. It drinks easier than 120, I think, but um, this could be me. Very delicious. Up next, the blue Glencairn. This has like a... This has some fruits to it. 
a lot of confectioner sugar. There's some uh, um, oaky undertones to this as well. But that like fruity sugar pop reminds me of an old Forester on the nose. But let's take a sip. Very good as well. I definitely think that's the old Forester. <clears throat> Very sweet. The pop of fruit. There is some oak on the back end of that. Unfortunately, I get like a hint of youthfulness on the 1920. And I will link it above. You can go watch um, my video. I did old label versus new label. That's a new label. I thought the old label 1920 was a lot better than the new label. Um, <clears throat> I think the new labels taste a little younger. Again, could just be batch to batch variation. We know that Old Forester doesn't really age state their products. And that, you know, they kind of just simply, they heat cycle the warehouse. So they, they tried to speed up the aging process. Don't know how old these are. Still very good flavors. What I will say, though, is it was a little thinner on the mouthfeel than the gold here, which I think was a Knob Creek. And the finish was like significantly shorter. And if this is the old Forester, it's only five proof points off. So not as great in terms of that. So, so far, the gold one is in the lead. All right, last but not least, the green. Oh, sweet vanilla creme brulee. Tons of oak and a little bit of barrel char in there even. A lot of sweetness coming through on this as well. If I was right in the other two, process of elimination is that this would be the wild turkey rare breed. Let's have a sip. $45 never tasted so good. <clears throat> rare breed has that wild turkey profile. If you have a lot of wild turkey, you know what I mean. There's sweetness, there's caramel, there's oak. There's like a, I, I get a lot of vanilla on this. But it just, that hits you up front and then just the heat builds and adds to the experience. Finish is long as well. Um, whew, I, it's between that one and, and the gold, I will say. Alright, my order tonight, last place blue, which I believe was a 1920. Unfortunately, it was the only glass tonight that had that little bit of youthful grain, which I'm not a fan of. If you're a fan of that then that's for you. Um, it's still very good. I love Old Forester. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love their Barrel Strength Bourbon, their Barrel Strength Rye. I have an Old Forester 150th Anniversary bottle that was it's one of my all-time uh, favorite bottles. So by no means am I knocking Old Forester. I love the distillery. I just think the newer 1920s are not as good as they used to be. So drop a comment below if you agree or disagree on that. Second and first place were very hard. Um, second place went to the gold, which I believe was a Knob Creek 9 store pick. And first place went with the green, uh, which I believe was the rare breed. Very close. I was back and forth um, on those. Only reason I picked the green glass first was because it had a little bit more complexity of flavor and kind of a different ride, if that makes sense. So you got those different vanilla caramels, um, even a little, even a little bit of fruit up front, and then it followed by like a building of, of like the rye spices in there, and it just was a very nice overall experience that was delicious. And the finish lasted a long time, and it was moderately thick. The Gold Glen Karen, which got second, dang delicious, but it was just very dark, rich caramel and oak, which is the Knob Creek profile and brown sugar, a lot of brown sugar. That's the Knob Creek profile. If you like Knob Creek, which I do. I loved it. I loved it. But it was those flavors and that was it. Even and But it was still moderately thick and had a good long finish. So depending on what you're in the mood for, you might pick one of those over the other, first or second. But that's what I think they are and that's my order. Let's grab the answer key and see what panned out. All right. <clears throat> Got the old trusty answer key here. In last place in the blue was the 1920 so i was writing that and in first place in the green was rare breed so gold was the knob creek so i did guess them right um not hard to do if you enjoy all those i will say 
you can't go wrong with any of these. However, I will say all these are very good and a very fair price. Rare Breed, though, is technically the cheapest because it's forty-five dollars, and sometimes it's less if you get it if you have a, if your state sells, you know, the Rare Breed at the Costco or something. It's even less than forty-five bucks, and it really hung in there tonight. You know, it was first, but I hope I uh, gave you something to think about tonight. What available barrel proof is the best and relatively easy to find? So one of those three can't go wrong with any of them. But tonight, what you should be buying is a rare breed. Thank you, everyone. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 400 subscribers here. So help me out. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening.